What's up, Panther fans? Um, well, what what did we think of that game, huh? What a way to open the season. Um, okay, I want to start off with the good first. Um, for most of the game, we held their run, rushing attack down. I mean, it was shut down. They had negative yardage through much of the much of the game until later on. Um, the run defense looked really good. Linebackers were, were up and pursuing and making good hits. And, I mean, overall the defense tackled really well. Um, nice wrap-up tackles and everything. Um, but since we're on the defensive side of the ball right now, what was going on with the pass defense? I mean, really? I mean, what what was that? I mean, you yeah, sure they made some interceptions and stuff, but... I mean, most of those were off tip passes because the Giants receivers couldn't catch half the time. But, I mean, like, what? Charles Godfrey, he had two picks, but most of the times he was out there lost in coverage. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, honestly, where, where is he in the over-the-top coverage? I mean, so many times receivers were just out free, just running, and, I mean, there's just no pass defense today. I don't know what that was. Um... I mean, they haven't looked that bad in quite some time. Uh, there wasn't enough pass rush, I thought, too. I mean, they were getting some penetration every now and then, but they couldn't sack Eli Manning. It was just, uh, I don't know how he kept getting the ball off, but really just the run defense was good, and that's really the, the what, what part of the defense was the only thing that was really that good. Um, of course, I guess we can't expect them to stay on the field all day long and, and continue to, to play that well because they're going to get tired. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's some major, major adjustments that need to be made um, on, on most factions of the game after this one. Uh, the uh, Mainly just figuring out how to play pass defense. Uh, I think most things will kind of come to with experience as the season goes. Uh, but like the pass rush, now you got to give credit to to New York's offensive line. They got one of the best offensive lines in the league, um, and that's pretty well known. So I mean, if you're gonna not get pressure on a team, that's gonna be one of the ones that you wouldn't be able to. So um, there's that. But let's just talk a little bit now about the offensive side of the ball. I I don't know. Uh, their decision making, mainly Matt Moore's decision making, I don't know what he was doing out there today. I mean, early on in the game he looked okay. I mean, there's some, some good plays, some bad plays, but after we got behind, just wow. What was he doing? That was a Matt Moore that we have never seen. It looked like, you know, it looked like some of the worst of Jake last year. I, and a friend of mine texted me earlier uh, toward the end of the game and said, you know, that, that looked like Jake. You know, maybe it was the staff and not Jake himself because, you know, Jake's been doing pretty well with Cleveland so far, although today started off good, but Jake did throw a couple picks for Cleveland, but that's beside the point. Um, just a lot of those passes that Matt would get out and throw them into coverage, you know, triple coverage, loft them up in the air, just, I mean, where, where was the tight spiral, where was the zip on the ball, it wasn't there, like, most all day, I don't know what he was thinking a lot of the times, throwing off the back foot, maybe it was just the pressure, they were getting him, they were pressuring him a lot, uh, but, I just, I've never seen him make so many bad decisions, and, uh, I mean, he threw several picks and had the fumble, uh, and then he get, gets hurt. I don't know if that was so much a physical injury or just, you know, mental. I don't know if he was just kind of broken down and his psyche must have been hurt from all that. But, you know, I know that this week we're going to see a lot of fans calling for Jimmy Clausen already. Uh, but we've got to give this a game or two at least and see how he, how he rebounds and plays through this. Because um, we got Tampa Bay next week. And if, if we can't play better against Tampa Bay, then something is really wrong. Um, but we got to see him you know, play a little bit against them and see if he can get some confidence back because today was not good for him. Um, 
other than that, uh, it was nice seeing Steve Smith back out there. Uh, you know, he had about one touchdown catch. But uh, he wasn't quite as involved as I would like to have it, to him have been involved. Uh, he, he took some pressure off the other guys, I guess. Had a couple catches by Brandon LaFell, a couple catches by Dwayne Jarrett out there. But uh, wasn't quite as involved as I would have liked to him have been, liked to him, liked to see. But uh, the some of the play calling just kind of boggled my mind. Uh, down when we were at the four yard line when we were down in the second half and four straight pass plays or three straight pass plays rather why not try to run the ball I mean, that's your bread and butter I know you're running low on time but I mean come on your best game is the rushing attack and you're on the four yard line what are you doing but that ended up being another turnover of course um, but and a lot of times I don't know why Mike Goodson was out there for a good chunk of the game instead of Jonathan Stewart and or D'Angelo Williams. D'Angelo Williams got a lot of carries early on, but it seemed like Goodson had the bulk of the load in the second half, and I just I don't know why that was happening. I mean, obviously, Jonathan Stewart wasn't injured because he came back in the game when when uh, Goodson apparently got his eye poked. Um, uh, but I, I don't know why. Some of these decisions that were made today just doesn't make sense. They, they don't make sense. And uh, I, mean, I want to hear your opinions on that. I want you to comment and give me your opinions on what you think went wrong today. Because the first half was decent. If we had tightened up the pass coverage in the first half, we would have had you know, probably a pretty sizable lead. Um, but we just crumbled in the second half. We couldn't get the ball in the end zone most of the day. Had to settle for a lot of field goals. And that can't happen. That cannot happen. Um, but, you know, this is a very young team. Very young team. And... I think we've got a lot of talent, but it's just going to take time to get adjusted with this talent. I just I hope for a better showing today. I thought we had it in us to win it, um, and early on I thought we were going to. We were playing better, but once we gave New York the momentum, they just took it and ran, and we couldn't stop them. Uh, just bad decision after bad decision and turnovers. You can't turn the ball over that many times and win a game. I mean, even... New York turned the ball over a bunch too, but uh, just poor decisions. Um, special teams looked really good. We had a block punt uh, there toward the end of the game, and also most of the returns were pretty good. Uh, did a good job with that, and the coverage was really good on, on special teams. That's good to see. Um, but uh, you've got to play better in all three phases overall to, to win. And against a team like New York, who is a decent team, you can't make that many mistakes, um, but you know I'm just I'm kind of ranting at everyone right now. I'm sure you you all want to rant too. Feel free to do so in the comments. Um, but I guess this is the review vid for this week. Uh, I'm not going to name superlatives right now because I haven't really had a chance to think about it, or you know, I don't really feel like I should be naming superlatives because. Uh, I don't know. Didn't see anybody really stand out that much. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Charles Godfrey had the two picks, but I think he was responsible for a lot of those long passes, too, during the day. So, really, that kind of offsets, in my opinion. Um, he's got to play better on, in coverage. But uh, I'll be back up later this week uh, with a little another vid and a preview for uh, next Sunday's game against Tampa Bay. In the meantime, subscribe. Feel free to... Uh, Comment down below, like I said, uh, you know, everything, just, I guess this is going to be a week of adjustment, maybe a season of adjustment, I don't know, I, I still, I'm, I'm still positive overall for the season, I think we got a pretty soft schedule for the most part, and I think that we should be able to win some games, um, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens this week and moving forward with, with how we played today, because I don't know what's going on, but, uh, that wasn't the same kind of, well, this isn't the same Matt Moore that we saw last year. I don't know if it's him starting now that's done, that's kind of messing with him or what, but he's got to play better. He's got to play better. Um, but uh, let's give him next week and see how it goes. In the meantime, uh, just hope to see y'all commenting on uh, this week, and I'll reply back and... Uh, See what y'all think about the game today. In the meantime, just uh, go Panthers.